imagination is the key And with Flexo you will see a flexillion possibilities Incredible Hello again Flexo family and welcome to another week of Flexo Creations This week we'll be building Tina the Toad What will you call your toad? These are the parts you'll need to make your toad. Here are the colours that we've used to make Tina. Alright Flexo family, let's get making. Remember to check the circle in the top right hand corner. It's going to let you know what length tendons we're using as we build along together. Also, we've used coloured tendons in our build but you can use any tendons that you have that are the same length. We're going to start by building the belly of the toad. To do this we're going to connect circles and triangles together using our T3 tendon. You can use the tool to poke the tendons in if you find that easier. Once we've done this, we're going to take our T5 tendon and put this in all the outside bricks. We're going to leave one circle brick without a T5 tendon because this will be the toad's mouth. Once we have our tendons in, we're going to seal them all off with a second layer of bricks. This makes sure our tendons stay in place. Now we're going to build the top side of the toad. We're going to follow the same pattern we used before. We're going to connect the circles and the triangles using a T3 tendon. Now that we have the top side of our toad, it's time to connect the top and bottom together. We're going to lay the two layers on top of each other, back to back. We're going to wrap the T5 tendons around into the top side of the toad. The best way to do this is to use your thumbnail and work up the tendon, pushing it against the wall of the brick. This might be a little bit fiddly the first time, but once you have the technique, It'll be super useful for all your flexo building. If you are finding the tendons are popping out, you can place a brick on top straight away rather than waiting until you've put all the tendons in. Once we have our second layer of green bricks on top, we have the body of our toad. Now it's time for the legs. Remember, the two legs won't be exactly the same. They're actually going to be a mirror reflection of each other. This is because they're going on opposite sides of our toad. Now that we've built the legs for Tina the Toad, it's time to place green bricks on top.
As we go to connect the legs to the body, make sure to have the next few pieces ready. Push the tendon into the body and then place a brick on top. These are the back legs of our toad, now for the front legs. We're going to be connecting three T3 tendons and one T5 tendon to the front legs of our toad. When we go to connect the front legs to the body of the toad, make sure that you use the T5 tendon, that's the longer one, to connect it to the body. Push the tendon in and we seal it off with another brick. Time for the final pieces. Our toad needs a tongue and some eyes. We're going to connect a circle and a T19 tendon. We're then going to open the mouth and clip the circle brick inside. Now for Tina's eyes. You can place them close together to give you a cute looking toad, or you can space them out a little more. You can also choose to decorate your toad with some flexo domes. We've decided to go with all green here, but you could do spots and speckles, just like real toads in the wild. And here's Tina the toad. Alright Tina, off to go find some flies. That's all from us this week Flexo fam, thanks for building along with us. If you liked the video give it a thumbs up, remember make sure you're subscribed and have the notifications bell on so you'll know every week when we come out with a new video. We're looking forward to seeing you next week, but in the meantime, go out there and be creative, think differently and most of all, have fun.